Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a blue day. Um, I decided I wanted to do a look with my, one of my favorite colors and I really hope you enjoy. So let's go. <laughs> okay, so before we get started, forewarning, this is my Fred, my friend Fred. Uh, my face is all messed up right now, so, but we gonna fix it. We gonna work together and we gonna fix it. Oh. God. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this from LA Girl. It's their orange corrector. I use it a lot. I have a lot of uh, blue undertones, especially with my five o'clock shadow that my double chin always likes to show. Uh, so we're going to use it a little bit underneath and then also use it a lot right here and right here to cancel out any like blue undertones. Ta-da! This is our pumpkin spice latte look. Thank you guys for coming. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so for foundation, I'm actually going to be using Max Studio Fix Fluid in NW20. Uh, this is still one of my OG foundations. It's The reason why I like it is it's really, really easy to blend. And it's easy to layer. So I'm going to be using NW20 and I'm going to apply it with Morphe G4 brush. I love these metal brushes, they're awesome. I really like this foundation too because it gives you a satin finish and a lot of times foundations that have a matte finish or a really dewy finish it tends to separate, especially waterproof foundations. Um, so that's why I like this because it's, it's easier to play with. So for concealer, and if you notice, I'm doing my makeup totally different this one than I did my last video. I like doing my foundation different as many times as I can because it's a challenge and it's fun. So for my concealer, I'm actually going to use Max Full Coverage um, in NW20 as well. It's actually a little bit lighter and a little bit more um, of a pink undertone to it, but it's really, really full coverage. And I'm just going to apply it to the top and then blend it out. So this is the foundation stick from Hot Makeup Professional. And um, I really like this color for contour, but if you look in the center, there is an anti-shine core stick. So if you're using it for foundation, it actually dries down the, st um, the st stick foundation. So it's not as creamy. Um, a lot of uh, foundation sticks uh, tend to be really creamy. And that's why I like this because it's more drier. So for me, it's perfect. And I'm gonna be using it with the brush as a contour. So just all you need is a little bit and then lightly apply it. And then with the excess, I like framing around my, my big old five head, drop it down maybe to a four head, and then a little bit on the bridge of my, on the sides of my nose. Later on, we'll we'll go through all of all of these contour places with uh, conceal. I mean, um, bronzer to help define a little bit more. Okay, just so you guys know too, I live in the hood, so if you hear ambulance, uh, police sirens, or helicopters, it just means somebody got caught. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, so to set this foundation. I'm actually gonna be using this. It's from Hot Makeup Professional. It's their pressed powder. I like it because it doesn't have any talc. It's mineral based, it's mica. It's super, super soft to the touch. Uh, it does have medium to full coverage. So when you do use it, you wanna make sure you use it lightly. Now to define my contour, I'm going to use Refine Golden from MAC. I've been using this for like 10 years, I love it. It's really good uh, because it's, it's really buildable with color. It doesn't go on really harsh.
So Smashbox came out with this LA Lights palette. It's freaking huge. There's so many blush colors in here. But my favorite one is this one, the Rich Coral. Oh, you could use it on like any skin tone. It's amazing. Plus I got a big old mirror. So I'm going to be using the Rich Coral. And I'm only going to apply a little bit just to the cheeks. To add a, a, a pop of color. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use Artist Couture's Gold Digger Highlight. Uh, their highlights are really, really, really pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. I love this brush too. This is from Luxie. It's a Pro Precision Tapered Brush. 640. It's so soft. It's perfect for putting on highlights. Dang, blinging. And then just a little bit to the bridge of my nose. And we good. So for this look, I really want to focus on blue tones. Uh, it's one of my favorite colors. Oh, you hear the, it's the police, it's the popo. Come on, popo, hurry up. <laughs> Shit. So for this look, I really wanted to focus on blue tones. Kat Von D came out with the metal matte, matte metal. Uh, palette and there's two colors in here. It is Velour and Nebula um, Are two they're just two bomb blue colors So I'm gonna be using those two colors and ignite for my eyes for my ojos So I'm gonna take Velour which is the the matte See these are super pigmented And then I'm gonna blend it out And then I'm going to go in with the, the, so that was Velour. Now I'm going to go with the Nebula, which is the metallic one. And I'm going to put it on the lid. And that same Nebula, I'm going to put on the bottom lash line as well. Okay, so now for the inner, the inner ducts, I'm going to use the uh, color Ignite. Ignite me. And this is really going to add that pop. These eyeshadows are super pigmented. And now for the waterline, I'm going to use uh, from Makeup Geek the color Mint, and it's from their Full Spectrum Eyeliner Collection. Um, this is just really going to really gonna pop them eyes out. So now the lips. I'm going to be using, uh, so I just got uh, some of Jeffree Star's new stuff for his uh, winter collection. And I really liked this liquid lipstick in the shade Deceased. Um, it's bomb. Bomb. So we're going to apply this first. And then I'm going to use Max Cream de Nude uh, and put it over it when it dries to add a little bit of dimension on that lip. So now when Deceased dries down, I get a little bit of Cream de Nude from MAC and then I apply it to the center and it adds just a, a little dimension. Yes, I'm living. Right? Or no? Okay. <laughs> I like Cream de Nude because it's, it does not, it's not a whole bunch of colors so it just lightens up. Uh, you can actually use it over almost any color. It's uh, and put it over and it'll just lighten it up. It's really, really nice, especially on some of those darker colors when they can get a little bit harsh. Next thing I'm gonna be using is from a brand called The Brow Gal. This is their convertible brow kit too. And I really, really like it because you can use it wet or dry. So I like to spray it a little bit with Fix Plus before I apply it and it goes on so smooth. 
Now whenever I do brows, I always start at the bottom and then I blend up. Uh, if you notice, like my left brow is really thin and my right brow is a little bit higher. So I always have to, to fill in more on the top here and then more on the bottom here. So see, that usually happens when people are uh, have retard brows like me. So one of my favorite products, you'll probably see me use this on every video because I've never used anything that I like better, is the Tit and Scent from Hot Makeup Professional. So this is a brow gel. Uh, the reason why I like it is a lot of brow gels have metallic in them. So when they dry in HD and real close, they look really, really ashy. This has hardly any. So it's almost like straight pigment, but it lightens up the brow so they don't seem as harsh. So next for the mascara, I'm going to be using Indecent Exposure from uh, Smashbox. I really, really love, love this mascara because it's so dark. It's like black, black, like really black, like black, black. So to finish this look, I'm going to throw on a pair of lashes. I got these lashes. At a regular, uh, there are Dow lashes and they're double stacked. I really, I'm gonna have to find out which ones they are because I don't remember. I've used these, I've used these bad boys like 15 times. I'm real careful and real cheap. <laughs> but yeah, they're uh, they're the wispies layered with another pair, but they're regular Ardell lashes that you can get at Target. And ta-da! Hope you guys like this look. I loved creating it. Um, I love blue, so I try to use it as much as I can because it's a bomb color. <laughs> so if you have any ideas or suggestions of videos you would like to see, leave, drop me a comment and uh, let me know. And once again, thank you so much for spending this time with me and playing with some makeup. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And until next time, Bye.